hello everyone welcome back to my channel so before i start today i want to show you the finished product of uh remember i did two hexagons i just wanted to share with you how they look once they're dried and finished i put one layer of resin on them um there are some imperfections so i have to put, apply a second coat which i have not done yet so i just wanted to show you how pretty they look um the shimmers of the golds and the bronze it's and all the pigments they are beautiful the other day i went to walmart and i found this black satin finish interior paint and i bought it because i felt like doing a bloom or some bloom on a black pillow which I have not done before, so I'm really excited today. Um, when we pour on black paint, the uh, the biggest challenge I feel like is um, any pour, it doesn't matter what technique you are using, so any pour you do on a black base, when you do it, it looks so vibrant in colors, but as the color dries it looks kind of droopy because the black consumes the brightness of the um, other colors so this is something i would be looking forward to overcome so um, let's see what we can do today when i opened the can you could see that all the chemical layers in the paint was separated so i really have to mix it really well of course you cannot ask them to mix it for you because when they mix it in the store there would be millions of bubble um and you have to deal with them so what i did was i it i took a good two three um, not even two three or more minutes to mix it really well um so <clears throat> once i mix them i take some of the paint in a separate uh, container a smaller container to mix my other stuff with this to for my bloom and the rest i will put it away i think this is the messiest part of painting it's just especially with the black base the black color is like for some reason i feel like it sticks to everything so bear with me i have to clean up before i start pouring Now, with the paint, I, I will add a tiny dash of a GAC 800. I just eyeball it. It doesn't have to be measured perfectly. Only reason I add this is to make sure there's no creasing. And also, I'll add a tiny bit of uh, Floetrol. Oops, my Floetrol got separated, so I have to shake it before I pour it. Um, so uh, the reason I mix that is sometimes when I do my bloom and my patterns are so pretty, I don't want to um, spill more paint out of my surface. What happens is I end up with thick layers of paint in certain spots, not the whole entire surface area. And that tends to create crack if I don't use um, GAC 800. So that's the reason I mix these two uh, with my base coat and from there I start.
the first board that I am going to try today is on a six inch by six inch tile and I will just do one then I will wait to see how it dries and from that I will take my um, notes what to do next for the next one and I will do another one so as you can see what I'm doing I spreading white underneath other colors so when i blow the colors are spreading on top of the white um, that's a technique i'm trying or experimenting to see that if my colors uh, or other colors stay vibrant even on a black base you are going to see the result and be the judge So far it looks nice, but one thing I'm not very fond of, you can see that sometimes it shows the white uh, surrounding or borders, um, which is kind of eyesore to me. So that's one negative thing I can tell you right off the back. And we'll see if it makes any difference when the piece dries. wet result and as you can see that the color kind of mixed with the uh, white underneath yeah, color okay. and made it a little paler anyway we'll see so how it dries and from there we'll start another one so this is the dried result as you can see it's not dried all the way and all the bumps that you see because i poured it on top of another so you can see the bump so then I thought that I'm going to experiment one more time this time I'm using a hexagon tile and um, we'll see how it turns out this time however I'm not going to uh, put the white paint underneath the other colors but I am going to mix white with each and every color to give it a lighter tone or brighter tone against the black base. That way I will not have those thin white lines and um, we'll see how this one turns out. Look at the green that I'm using. It's kind of like olive tonish green but 
there's white mixed to me, mixed into it this time so every color that i am putting on now i have used white um color and i need to mention that the white color that i'm using it's amsterdam's titanium not amsterdam's um golden's titanium white which is opaque color uh to give the vibrancy to the color other colors As I'm looking at the composition, I see that a big, bold um, negative space in one corner, which I was not very fond of. So I uh, thought of adding another leaf for that spot only. The other negative space that you can see, they're smaller size and I'm fine with them, not the big one though. Oh, wow, look at this. It looks so pretty. I'm so happy with the result. Wow. 
I can't wait for this one to dry because I want to see how it turns out once it dried. So at this point, I'm adding some uh, modification and the swirling that I love putting on my pores because it creates such a beautiful interest or drama to the piece. Um, so let me modify it a little bit more and then let it dry and I'll definitely show you the end result. Once it dried, um, I'll share it with you at the end of the video.